Imagine a machine born from the depths of engineering thought that digests thousands of tons of rock a day and feels the fatigue of every bearing. It knows the composition of the soil at a depth of hundreds of meters. This is a tunnel boring machine, TBM, a living organism of steel, hydraulics, and algorithms. It enters into a dialogue with the earth. There is no place for brute force here, only precision, adaptation, and respect for the laws of geology. The largest TBM is 18 meters in diameter, the width of a five-story building. The fastest, 1,200 meters per month, nearly 42 meters a day. The most expensive was for Nord Stream 2. These machines are changing the very logic of construction, from the brutal conquest of space to a surgical intervention into the planet's body. Underground, universalism has no place. Victory belongs not to the one who can do everything, but to the one who is perfectly adapted to a specific challenge. TBMs are the true chameleons of engineering thought. Their form, core, and behavior change depending on what they face, water, granite, ice, or seismic shocks. A modern TBM is an adaptive organism born from the dialogue between humanity and the planet. And the more complex the challenge, the more elegant the response. Pressurized face TBMs are masters of underwater balance. They work where the ground cannot hold its shape, in quicksand, silted deposits, under rivers and straits. They create an artificial pressurized atmosphere in the forward chamber, holding the tunnel walls at bay. Without them, there would be no tunnels under the Bosphorus, the Thames, or the Neva. These are the technologies that allow cities to breathe underwater. Open-faced TBMs are the essence of pure power and precision. In masses of granite, basalt, or quartzite, the ground itself provides support, and the TBM's task is to crush the rock and remove it. No bentonite, no chemicals, only steel, diamond, and raw rock mass. Such machines carve tunnels in the Alps, hydroelectric penstocks in Norway, and mines in the Andes. Their work is minimal intervention, maximum efficiency. Mixed Shield TBMs In 72 hours, such a machine can transform from a sealed underwater vessel into an open-face rock climber. In the Himalayas, over 500 meters, you can pass from solid granite through glacial deposits to an underground river. These shields feature heated main beams, insulated hydraulics with antifreeze compounds, and a built-in safety cushion, flexible joints, seismic dampers, and emergency unlocking systems in case of an earthquake. The modern TBM has ceased to be just a giant pin puncturing the earth. Today, it is an intelligent system where steel, hydraulics, and concrete work in close symbiosis with machine learning algorithms. Hundreds of sensors embedded in a TBM's body record ground pressure on the face and lining, rotor torque, bearing temperature, vibrations, and the parameters of bentonite slurry injection or soil extraction. Information flows to analytical modules in real time. AI instantly adjusts the progress, reducing speed, regulating face pressure, fine-tuning slurry flow. Algorithms detect barely perceptible deviations in the behavior of the ground and equipment, warning of approaching quicksand, a boulder, or a zone of unstable rock. By analyzing changes in the vibrational profile and thermal anomalies, the system predicts how much longer the cutter disks will last and suggests replacement. The route is set, and the system itself controls the thrust jacks, maintaining direction with an accuracy of fractions of a degree. Robotic manipulators install the segment rings. The operator is located in an above-ground control center. Virtual copies of the entire tunnel are created. Such simulations allow for practicing emergency scenarios without risk to life or equipment. Herrenecht, Germany. Its machines have built tunnels under the Bosphorus, through the Alps, and for Nord Stream. They are legendary machines with price tags of up to $85 million, featuring AI, digital twins, and autonomous control. The Herrenecht Mix Shield for Nord Stream 2 cost $85 million. With a diameter of 12 meters, it operated at over 200 meters beneath the Baltic Sea, withstanding 20 atmospheres of pressure. It featured millimeter-perfect sealing, double redundancy for all systems, special cutters for marine boulders, integration with underwater robots, and evacuation capsules. It traveled 120 kilometers without a single accident. Each meter cost $700,000. Laying the pipeline on the seabed would have cost $2 million per meter and destroyed the marine ecosystem. CRC Chai, China, produces over 200 TBMs per year. They pioneer 3D, printed segments, cloud-based AI, and electric drives. Robbins, USA. Its machines work in the Himalayas, the Andes, and the Rocky Mountains, where granite forgives no weakness. They are known for high reliability. Their technologies include adaptive cutters, real-time cooling systems, and algorithms for predicting rock fractures. NFM Technologies, France. Its TPMs dig tunnels under Paris, Delhi, and Singapore. They are compact, quiet, with perfect pressure balance, designed for work in dense urban areas where every vibration could damage a historical building. Mitsubishi, Japan. 
shields with shock-absorbing frames, double seals, and emergency evacuation capsules. Tianhetolian, China. A fast-growing player focused on small and medium diameters from 3 to 8 meters. They offer the most competitive prices on the market, simplified parts logistics, and a modular design. Their supplies reach Africa, Latin America, and Southeast Asia. Choosing a TBM means choosing precision, safety, ecology, and economy. Today, the leaders are the Germans and the Japanese. They set the quality standard, but the future belongs to the Chinese. Their TBMs are cheaper, faster, more adaptive. Their technologies are more accessible. Their scale is unparalleled. The next tunnel is already being dug. Where? Perhaps under your city, or maybe under an ocean, or perhaps on Mars. Because as practice has shown, where there is a tunnel boring machine, there are no insurmountable obstacles.